Uh, in honor of the fact that Valentine's Day has come and gone, this is a haiku which contains the beginning and end of a relationship. So three lines. It's called uh, Pet Names. I was going to tell you John Paul's pet name for himself, but it's rather embarrassing. So, so pet names. He calls her Yum Yums. She calls him Cutie Wooties. Now just bastard. Bitch. Thank you. This is a delightful little ditty called Autopsy. You made the opening incision with almost clinical precision. Took the heart out, found it wanting. Took the top off the head, removed the mind. What exactly was it you expected to find? I looked at you with sad eyes that said, it wouldn't have hurt half as much if you'd only waited till I was dead. <laughs> yeah, this is a thank you for my little girl when she was a lot littler than she is now. It's called One Small Step. Vest on, inside out. Two legs in one knicker hole. Shoes on back to front. I dressed myself by myself. Hmm, so I see. So I see. <laughs> ah, this is still Tilly. This is a holiday in France. It's called 32 degrees on the matin. One hedgehog in two parts. Distinctive Dunlop tread. She curses God with all her seven years. Why, why did he let it die? Waters it with her tears, this gruesome fleur the mal, as if her tears could bring it back to life. Farther up the road, another hedgehog prepares to risk it all. Flies talk amongst themselves. <laughs> uh, this is called Dressed Only in Kisses. Um, I have to get up about half five, myself and Jan stumble into her clothes. Um, I'm too tired to edit it. It's called Dressed Only in Kisses. She's slipping on a pair of black lace panties, balanced now on one leg. Reaches across the he, slipping on his shirt, both trying to still kiss the other even as they dress. They both ungainly stumbling, stumbling through the act of dressing and kissing simultaneously, something they haven't quite yet perfected. The kiss happening just as she closes the clasp on her bra, only to fall into each other's arms yet again, ending up in their original state of undress. <laughs> and this is a bunch of poems that I've wrote. I've got no titles, they're just scribbles at the moment. Um, I used to teach a kid and his favourite swear word was, Oh my days, which was a lot better than fucking mother or something like that. Did a kid say? <laughs> So, oh my days, I could take a swear word like that. The days gathered around me. What is it? Asked one of the days. A human, I think, another day said. God, is it dead? Yet another day said, poking me. No, it's just dreaming. Shh, don't wake it, said the next day. It will only want what we, ha what we can't give it. The days left me dreaming, safe in sleep. Timeless I was. Dreaming I was, Eilis in Gaza. This is called the Child's Encyclopedia. What colour is pain? How deep is grief? Page 101. How long is loneliness? How high is sorrow? Page 101. Where is today when it is tomorrow? Where is tomorrow when it is today? Page 101. And this is called uh, Monster's Nil, Little Boy One. Mammy switched the switch and the dark came on. Good night, ma'am. Good night, son. The monsters giggled and gurgled. Good night, son. Yum, yum, I likes them young. But it was too late. I had escaped into sleep. Hasta la vista, fuckers. <laughs> um... This is called Laura Laura Love. Romeo is trying to chat up Cinderella. Cinders isn't interested. She only has eyes for that other fellow. 
Juliet quite likes Snow White. Snow White isn't quite right. She only likes little guys, you know, like lots of little guys. <laughs> Uh-oh, don't! Romeo is getting his face slapped for telling Cinders she is only a cartoon. Oh, that's rich, that is, Cinder spits, coming from a fictional character like you. What did you expect, a fucking fairy story? God, I hate blind dates. <laughs> called uh, Passing Strange, which is Othello's version of his stories. Rose arose and, having risen, was angry. You never call me by my name, only love and darling. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet, I quote it. That's neat, she sweetly smiled. That's Shakespeare, I whispered in her ear and kissed her sweet, sweet smile. Oh, quote me that kiss again, she sighed each reflected in the other's eye. How I do love thee, I cried. Let me count the kisses, she replied, my lovely darling Rose. And this is called, My Love is as a Fever, Longing Still. All that long hot summer true, I share the common cold with you that seemed to last forever. Whether sharing the same germs, dreams, bacteria, and whatever, it seemed to bring us so very close together. If this was love, it couldn't get no better. And all my heart could say, even to this day, is bless you, bless you, bless you. <laughs> this is called Feline Friends. Curl up on the couch with a curled up kitten cradled in your lap. Both of you totally out of this world. One sweetly snoring, the other peacefully purring. I smile at such a lovely double take. Tiptoe round the flat, afraid that you should wake. I kiss both your noses and you both shift and sniff, adopt synchronized poses. I can only love and sit and watch as one of you makes a move that the other will match. I take a Polaroid as I am leaving. Place it between your toes where, on awakening, it will be seen to show you how very beautiful you've been. And this is called TKO. It wasn't a fair fight you threw in the towel, but as that was all you were wearing, you won by a smile. It wasn't a fair fight you covered my mouth with your mouth, my senses sizzling with the kisses delight. It wasn't a fair fight, yet how come I felt every time I lost, I won? It wasn't a fair fight, but that's all right. I was betting on you to knock me out. <laughs> this is called No Escape. I staggered through the swamp, dragging the ball in chain. Train in the distance chanted, never again, never again, never again. Pain was my middle name. The dogs were close, real close. I cut up stream, hoping they'd lose the scent. Big moon over the cornfield, running through the night. Summertime in June, my heart in my mouth. I couldn't see the wood for the tears. Finally, cornered me where the trees thinned out. Caught in the open ground. You just can't run from love when it decides to hunt you down.